Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have a few new kind of like homeware bits I thought I would share with you guys. I've not really done any kind of like home updates or anything like that for quite a while. So I thought I would run you through some bits that I recently got that I am absolutely loving. And yeah, share them with you guys. So first up, I got sent this incredible lamp by a brand called Pagazi Lighting. It's a little bit too big to fit in shop, but I'll add some clips of what it looks like when I find a little home for it. So I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's either going to go in our lounge or down in our kind of kitchen diner area. I was a little concerned about putting it in the kitchen because our last lamp, the dogs knocked it over. But this has a really good weighted base on it so i don't think they'll be able to knock this over whatsoever quality of this really really good and i just love that kind of like modern simplistic look of it i love this kind of like smoke glass globe on the top i've never really seen a lamp that looks like this so i'm really really in love with it i will leave the link for this exact lamp down in the description box as well as their um details i have like an instagram page they don't just do lighting they do things like mirrors they do other bits of home decor but their range of lighting is insane and there's definitely something to suit absolutely everyone there's like a massive kind of price range just some really nice affordable stuff on there as well as some more kind of high-end pieces as well there's like a lampshade that i've got my eye on i think i might go back and order it it's like a really big oversized kind of wicker boho style lampshade um but yeah really really great choice and i can confirm the quality of this is really really good i need to get a light bulb for it because it takes a particular type of light bulb but i'm excited to get that set up i just need to decide where i'm going to put it first while we're on the topic of lighting i did a click and collect order from Danelle the other day and i ordered a few different light shades i feel like i love picking out home decor and stuff but light shades is where i really really struggle i don't think i'm gonna keep these i'm really sort of like mm, about them so first one i picked up is just this it's a kind of like just tin light shade it's white on the inside and it's this charcoal gray um i think this was only like 10 pounds or something so it is super cheap i actually don't like the shape of this so i think i'm gonna return this one but one thing i did think was really cool is they do these kind of extra bits so you can put them there to kind of hide that like ugly bit of the light cord then it's nice to kind of blend them in a little bit with the lampshade these extra bits i think are only like one or two pounds they do them in loads of different colors um but i just don't i don't know this just looks like a bit like a weird hat to me so i'm gonna return that one oh these do actually have the pricings on them okay so this lampshade was eight pounds this little doodad was two pound forty I also picked up a really similar one in a different shade. I don't want to take the plastic off because I don't know if I want to keep it or not. Okay, it's off. So this one I like a lot more. Um, it's a just far more of like a kind of modern shape, that nice flat one. I was thinking about this for Steve's office, but when we took it upstairs, basically Steve's office is on our, the very top floor. So our house is three stories tall and the top floor has like vaulted ceilings and um so it looks really big and airy and when we got this up there it just kind of looks a bit lost um it's like a little bit too small but i do absolutely love this i just don't think i have anywhere to put it because it didn't work in that room it did also come with this little kind of brass cap thing on there as well i wasn't we don't have brass in our house so i wasn't going to use that so this one was eight pounds which i thought was really really good it's just like a nice kind of simple metal one and then again i got one of these little doodads so i was thinking of doing it kind of like that so if you have like a black light flex this would look so good this one was i think this was just two pound 40 as well um actually the sticker says three pounds there they must have been in the sale but yeah i was actually quite impressed with this but annoyingly it is just it's too small really i also grabbed this one same problem with this one guys um this was actually for our guest bedroom which again is on the third floor really high ceilings which is incredible thought this would look really nice it's too 
small. This is very similar to the one I saw on Pagazi, um, but the one on Pagazi is a lot bigger. So that's why I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to reorder that one. Um, so this one was £20. I don't think this was in the sale. I think the other ones were. It is really nice. It's this kind of like bamboo wickery kind of dome shape one um and i love this kind of natural texture but yeah i think it's like 30 centimeters it doesn't say i think it's like 30 centimeters wide which when we put it up there it just it just looks so silly like in the expanse of ceiling i got one more lampshade i ordered so many this is ridiculous um which i will put in a clip of what it looks like because it is currently in the guest bedroom I thought it looked the best out of all of them that was 30 centimeters as well and it was this kind of like black metal design with this kind of gray felt woven in and out i really really like the lampshade um i think i was in the sale for 12 pounds so hence why i picked it up but it's still not really quite big enough um i i'm just gonna leave it there for now because i just hate the way that it looks without anything up there it's not ideal it's not exactly what i want so i'm gonna still like shop around and see what i can find another thing i got right if you guys have watched my videos for a while you know i've been ooing and ahhing about getting a steam mop for so long when it comes to buying stuff like this i just like i don't know i just ooh and ah and i do loads of research and i go back and forth on it so much so i've been wanting one of these for months and months and months and months finally bit the bullet and got one i picked up this one from amazon it was on offer i think it was originally meant to be 80 pounds and it's reduced to about 50 it's the valeda steam mop i tried this out the other day oh my gosh my life is changed all the downstairs we have gray tiled floor i normally just use like a normal kind of um like a mop and like a spray kind of thing and it gets so streaky um and also like i just don't feel like it was really cleaning it properly and i felt like i was having to scrub and put so much effort into it this you just literally fill up with water you turn it on i actually put a cap full of my fabulosa disinfectant in there as well just as an extra little something something um it smelled really nice and fresh afterwards it worked so well i wasn't having to like scrub and go over stuff which was incredible um yeah I am in love. It also has a carpet attachment so that you can do your carpets as well and it glides over the rug. Um, I just tested it on our kind of like back door mat thing. Worked really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm in love. I can't believe I didn't get one sooner. I just oodled and about it for so long. I think it's definitely worth the money if you do have a lot of kind of like hard, hard floors in your house. And I actually also got sent another item, which is this. So I know I shared um, one of my dog beds with you guys before and our dogs love these kind of donut shape beds. We got a cheaper one before and they actually ripped it apart because it was just really, really cheap. So I got sent this by a brand called Pet Libro. They have a Amazon store. So I have been testing this out for the last month or two and it has stood the test of time. So it's this really nice kind of furry teddy bear fabric the other one i had the kind of like hairy fibers on it was so long that it meant that it just got really dirty really quickly this one you can actually wash it i think yeah you can completely unzip it and wash it the cheaper one i had this is how they ripped it but this is really really good sturdy fabric it also has these little silicon um paw prints on it to stop it sliding around this is quite big this one i'll put the details for the exact bed i got down below in the description box but I've got, in case you don't know, I've got two Cavapoochons. So they're, Rocky's probably like a small medium sized dog and Milo's definitely a small dog, but they both fit in here together and they love snuggling in it. Um, one thing I absolutely love about this bed in particular and this style of bed is that um, a lot of them kind of claim to be anti-anxiety beds, which I can't confirm if that's true or not, but I know that our dogs love being cuddled up against stuff so this bed they have used far more than any other bed that i've ever had i just had like a normal flat one before but they love the sides on it and they love snuggling up in it um so for our dogs it's absolutely perfect and i can see that if you maybe had a dog that 
was a little bit anxious that this would be a good bed to kind of it's just a little bit more soothing having like the edges on it they feel a lot more kind of safe in it um but yeah really really good quality like i said i mean i wanted to make sure i properly tried and tested this out because the last one i got was so awful um i think the last one i got was from aldi so hence why it was awful but this is really good it comes in a box um and you basically take it out of the box and you gotta let it um in not inflate but it's kind of like memory foam so you gotta let it kind of poof up a little bit for i think it's 24 to 48 hours so i just left it um in my office for a couple of days before i actually gave it to them and they absolutely love it and I love that it actually looks pretty good with like my decor and stuff. I have a lot of like black grey as you can see in my house. So it looks really nice as well and honestly it's so soft. So yeah, if you are on the lookout for a new dog bed, would totally recommend. And obviously if you, you order it from Amazon as well. I, I love ordering stuff from Amazon because I feel like it definitely gives you like a sense of security. Um, yeah. I've got to go take this downstairs so the boys can actually <laughs> actually lie in it now and also i have been busy diying so i don't know if you guys saw my previous video or not where i did some diy art stuff i did some filler art and i really really liked it i actually ended up doing another one let me go grab it so this is the one i did in my last video i do not know if you can see that at all it's just like textured um kind of filler on a canvas and then I painted white over it this little canvas was just from B and M and then I actually put that back up and then I actually um I already had this massive canvas which I'd brought from Hobbycraft like years ago I'd originally done a different kind of piece of art on it and just decided I wanted something different so I did a really big I don't know what size this is like A2 maybe a really really big one as well these are both in my hallway so I like that it's kind of like a continuous theme in the hallway this one's at the top of the stairs and that one's like in the main bit of the hallway above my radiator um yeah absolutely love it you can see on this one that I previously painted it black but one thing I do want to do is um do a frame to go around the edge of this so I bought some strip wood I haven't got around to doing it yet but I'm gonna cut some strip wood, paint it black, and just nail it into the actual wooden frame of the canvas. And I think it will just give it a nice bit of separation between the white wall and the white um, art on the canvas. So that's some of my DIY stuff I've been doing. And then, <sighs> this, right, this one has taken me so long to do. Um, I also did another radiator cover. So my intention for this was to actually fully document the process but I just I cocked it up so much basically and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to but I did a radiator cover I had done one previously which I filmed when I was doing my lounge diner kind of transformation downstairs um I'll put in a clip of what it looks like my mistake with that one is that the MDF that I had cut at the time was way too thin I was a bit stingy and definitely needed something that was more sturdy it was actually bowing at the top on like the top panel bit um i did the slats horizontally which collected so much dust it was ridiculous it was really difficult to clean in between the slats as well um also the fact that it was black <laughs> shows up dust even more um and i just didn't love it i just i just didn't think it looked right i actually didn't like the black which is really unusual for me because i paint everything in my house black um but i just wasn't feeling it so i decided to redo it the inspiration for this i'll put her instagram and like some photos up on the screen but there's an instagram page called mishka show shoe i think um and she does so many amazing kind of like interior hacks and stuff she's got a really unique style i absolutely love her page she did this slatted radiator cover and she made it look so easy and i thought do you know what like i'm gonna give it a go and i cocked it up so badly um so i actually cut the slats myself because it worked out a lot cheaper that way i have a table saw in the garage so i cut them all myself and basically i wanted to do the slats so they kind of went like that i measured wrong and then i ended up putting the slats on the front back to front didn't realize until halfway through because I'm really stupid and 
yeah, I just messed it up and I thought, oh God, like the idea of redoing all of it was just too painful. So I decided just to not do the slats on top and just do the ones on front, even though they were on backwards. And I mean, it's better than what was there previously, in my opinion. Um, I like it in the white. I actually haven't completely finished it yet. The clips that I'll put in, I've done the primer coat, but I've not um, done the top coat. So that's why it looks a little bit patchy and there are bits that aren't covered properly. But yeah, I, I prefer the, hor the vertical slats over the horizontal ones. The wood that I've used is a lot thicker. It's a lot more sturdy. It's not going to bow or like be as wobbly as the last one, which is obviously good. But yeah, what a massive fail. This took me days to do as well. So I just wasted a lot of time and it wasn't even exactly what I wanted. But it's good to try and do these things and learn from your mistakes. I, I've not done a lot of woodwork or anything like that. So I'm just gonna chalk that up as like a practice run for future projects because I mean, normally what I do is I draw a picture out and I put all the dimensions on and I'll say, look, these are the cuts that I need to do. I need these, these, these and this. But I, I definitely kind of winged it and it just didn't work. So what I've learned from this is to um, spend more time in the planning and actually write stuff down rather than just making all the wrong size cuts. But anyway, those were just a few little bits that I got that I was loving and um, yeah, what I've been working on recently. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.